Kent's intention was never to have their own winery. It wasn't even to make their own wine originally. They had the concept of being retired. Here I stand uh, at the cause for my failed uh, retirement. They wanted to plant the vines, sell the fruit, and golf all day and progressively they lost their minds. It was a case of progressive insanity. I mean, mom and dad will say progressive insanity and given that I'm sitting in a cave that they dug, yeah, kinda. Olga and I came back from Europe and had a clear plan to just uh, grow grapes and sell them and walk around town like we were cool folks in the wine business and not even get our hands dirty. We came in and we did a bunch of soil pits in different locations. It used to be a horse ranch. As we progressed down the hill, we found that there were several different soil types. And because of those different soil types, we could plant different rootstocks, which would really help with Celia when she did her final blends. And then Jim Barber, our vineyard manager, uh, in 2002 convinced us we were never gonna be happy if we didn't make wine. He peer pressured him. He said, Bill, I think you gotta get your own fruit from your own ranch and put it in your own bottle with your own name on it. If you don't, I'm happy to buy it from you and then, well, you'll be spending a hundred bucks on my wine. Our first vintage was 2002. We made a whopping 46 cases. A few years later, we decided we had had some commercial success and uh, had nice ratings. We decided we should have total control over the process. And so we built this winery and dug this cave. Yeah, I do feel somewhat responsible for his <laughs> failed retirement. Now it is a failed retirement. We're not retired, we're just tired. He recommended Celia, which was a very large turning point for us, clearly. Celia has one of the best palettes I, I, I have ever experienced. Beautiful site, great people, obviously really interested in um, doing exactly what I enjoy doing best, and that is aiming for the stars and producing a really fabulous, very unique, um, individualized Cabernet Sauvignon out of this really special site. We think it's really important to do everything exactly as it ought to be done. We're total control freaks and had to have our own winery so that we would have complete control over every step. So in 2006, the first year we opened this winery, from the time the fruit came off of the uh, processing area into the tank until it went into the barrel, my son uh, Jason and I did every single work operation ourselves. We lived in Europe for 10 years, nine years in Germany and one year in The Hague before coming home. Living in Europe really brought us close together. We're a very tight-knit family. There was just the four of us, so we had no extended family. Every evening we'd all sit around the dinner table and no TV, no nothing, we'd sit and we would talk. Being in a foreign country where you don't know a lot of people and English was our native language, we became very, very close. My daughter used to come here for the first 10 months of her life. The first months of her life were spent in the office. Uh, and I must say, no one got any work done. And it's just been amazing to watch her grow up all around the winery. She runs around this place like she owns it. And now Lily thinks that, that uh, this is a fruit bowl. Uh, when the fruit is ripe, she thinks we made this fruit bowl for her because they're just at her height so she can pick them and she eats some seeds and all. We're more than just family now. It's really a wonderful thing.